Today's event uh, is a milestone in the annals of, the hist of this historic institution, the University College Ibadan. Over seven decades have shown that this University College Ibadan is special in every way because it has played a crucial role in the training of medical personnel and other healthcare professionals across the West African sub-region. Over the years, the UCH has witnessed much growth in academic expansion, and we are told that it currently accommodates over 65 departments, amongst which is a department of nuclear medicine in Nigeria, which was commissioned sometime in 2006. I'm also reliably informed that, an ab that on average, uh, the UCH receives over 250,000 new patients in the various outpatient clinics on an annual basis. And this is a testament to the hospital's reputation over the years. UCH, as we all know, is primarily a tertiary institution, but it has created a wonderful system where it engages community-based outreach activities, offering primary and secondary health care across the state. This is also highly commendable considering the gaps in our health care delivery system. A very recent report of the UN Sustainable Development Goal 3, Good Health and Well-Being for All, revealed that while there is considerable effort by our national health systems to increase access to health care services. There are notable barriers militating against the effective delivery of these services. And these are mainly linked to the quality of care that's available, equipment and facilities, and of course, essential medicines. For the population, the barriers against accessing healthcare are mainly economic, sometimes on account also of referral and counter-referral systems. And the cultural beliefs and practices which influence healthcare seeking behaviors. Similarly, the report noted that although government health expenditure doubled between 2010 and 2019, out of, out of pocket expenditure is significantly high in Nigeria, about 74.3% on average between 2010 and 2019, with wide variations, of course, across the 36 states. So people are still spending money, they're still spending their own money using their own money for purposes of health care. And this is so because of the very significant gaps between our health budgets and health expenditures across the country. So it's very gladdening to see how the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Sustainable Development Goals has completed the comprehensive rehabilitation and furnishing of the UCH as part of their commitment to the achievement of the SDGs in Nigeria. So let me commend, as all of us have done already, the Senior Special Assistant on SDGs, Her Excellency Princess Adejoke Orelokwe Adefulure, for this intervention and for her commitment and for her commitment to the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development in Nigeria. And I want to say especially that when you see a public servant who is serious about public service. It's always so heartwarming and so commendable. And I want to say that I've known uh, Mrs. Adejoke Adefulire for so long. Uh, we were in the Lagos State Government from about 2003 to 2007 in the second term of Lagos State Government. And from then till now, she has shown that consistency in delivering service delivering good quality service honestly and with the greatest integrity. So I want us to just commend her because it's not often that we see public service rendered with all of the heart of the public servant and so well as she has done. This strategic intervention here will address some of the challenges faced by the UCH in the delivery of health care and especially uh, the services that are rendered to teeming numbers of Nigerians who want these services. The, the rehabilitated facilities and state-of-the-art medical equipment will guarantee effective service to poor and vulnerable Nigerians. 
it will equally reduce out-of-pocket expenditure at the point of service delivery. So let me congratulate the management and staff of the UCH and indeed the government and the good people of this state for this development. But this official commissioning today comes with a responsibility for all of us to judiciously use and maintain these facilities for the benefit of all. To complement this intervention, the Office of the SSA to the President on SDGs has also constructed a 100-bed mother and child hospital at Onuara Ibadan, here in Ibadan. And I'm aware, I'm aware that this facility is fully equipped with state-of-the-art medical facilities as well. I look forward also to the sustainable use of these facilities in the years to come. So it is with great pride that I officially present and commission, I'm sure we'll be walking around in a few minutes, these facilities for the benefit of all Nigerians and indeed for the benefits of our region. God bless you all.